Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're gonna to be doing another fragrance oil review. Now this is the follow-up review to some of the oils that I showed you on the channel uh, probably a couple weeks ago now and these are all three oils from Midwest Fragrance Company. And the three that I've chosen today are basically the top three that you guys chose uh, in the in that first video that you wanted to see the most. And that is the bergamot sandalwood, the bamboo teakwood, and the barrel aged maple bourbon. So I've gone through, done the initial testing on these. I went through, made some candles, burned them in the house just to see what I think of them. And I'm basically gonna do like all the other fragrance oil reviews, just kind of go through them, talk about the top notes, middle notes, base notes, kind of what I think they smell like. And eventually the kind of uh, the quote unquote review that I give at the end, which is just kind of my own thoughts and how many that I think you might be able to sell if you're taking these to a market or putting these inside of a store. And of course, as always, I've included links to all three of these oils, as well as many more in the video description down below. So definitely go check out Midwest Fragrance Company. They've got a bunch of really nice oils and everything I've tried out so far has been really good. And judging by the comments in the last video, there are a ton of happy customers out there because a lot of people have already been using them and they posted a bunch of their favorites, not only here, but in the candle group that I run over on Facebook. And if you're not a member of that, it's DIY candle making, beginner to advanced. And I've got a link to that in the video description down below. So definitely jump over. It's a huge community of everybody talking about candle making. So if you don't get your fill here on the videos or in the comment section, here you can definitely jump over to the group and get even more content there. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about today is the bergamot sandalwood. Now this was the number one choice on the video the last time. It's the one that went to the top. Everybody wanted to see this one and for good reason. This one actually turned out to be a really nice oil. So I'm going to go ahead and read the description. Talk about the, uh, the top notes, middle notes, base notes. Uh, so the description on this one is a powerful masculine blend highlighted by bright bergamot and sandalwood. Uh, the top notes on this one are bergamot, violet flowers, middle notes are floral, sandalwood, and the base notes are patchouli and pine. And then one of the nice things that Midwest Fragrance Company does is they give some alternate names for this one. So if you know this by another name, uh, they'll go ahead and kind of list some of these. You can also find this one as patchouli pine, sweet sandalwood, and bergamot woods. So if you're familiar with some of those names or scents, you might know what this one's gonna be like. Uh, this oil is skin safe. So if you're gonna be putting this one into soaps, sugar scrubs, or anything like that, it is skin safe. So that's definitely a plus. Uh, it's phthalate free, vanillin 0.00%, and it is Prop 65 compliant for anybody that's in California. Now for me, this is one that I didn't think would be the number one pick out of all the oils that I showed you guys last time, but this one was clear in a way the favorite everybody wanted to smell. And surprisingly, it's a good choice. It's a really nice scent coming out of the candle. Now, I did burn one of these downstairs just to see what it smells like. And I will say, this is actually a really nice candle. It's uh, it, it's a real good oil. It's got a real nice mix going through this one. I was pretty convinced that before I even got this one, smelling it in the bottle, I figured the uh, sandalwood would come out more than any other note in this candle. And I was definitely wrong. It's got a good, even mix. You definitely get a lot of the bergamot in this one. You get a lot of the sandalwood in this one. And I would say it's honestly like a 50-50 mix. Nothing really Really stands out and overpowers the other one. So if you're not a huge sandalwood fan, because sometimes sandalwood can get definitely overpowering, especially in the mix or the candle, if, if you're doing just a straight sandalwood, uh, this one definitely does not do that. It, I mean, going back and forth with this one, and especially when you burn it in the house, you definitely get the notes of the bergamot and you do pick up the sandalwood. Uh, the pine you get a little bit in the back end, which is really nice. And then some of the other notes in this one, the violet flowers, I do get a little bit of a floral in this one, which I think kind of evens and blends those two together really, really nice. Uh, the patchouli is another one that I don't pick it up completely, but I do know that it's in the background of this one. And pretty much any masculine or earthy type scent like this, you're always gonna have a little bit of patchouli in every single one of those oils but it definitely comes out really nicely in this one. It's not overpowering. You definitely know it's in the background, but it's such a muted scent that it's actually, it, it enhances it a lot. It's actually really nice. Now, obviously there are no farmer's markets going right now. I haven't really had this one on any of the uh, sites that I do, Etsy, the website or anything like that. So I don't have a good reference point on how much this is actually gonna sell for me, but based on other scents that I've taken to markets and other scents that I have on my website, uh, I would think this one would do pretty well. So if I was gonna give it uh, the rating that I do on this channel, I would say you're probably looking at, if you were to take 12 of these to a market, you're probably gonna get a good seven or eight sales out of this one. It's a real strong scent. It's a, uh, it stands out and it's gonna hit a few different people who 
like that earthy masculine scent, but it's also gonna cross some of those lines into people who want a little bit more to their palate when they're burning a candle. Uh, they don't want just like a straight masculine scent, they want a little bit more to it. And definitely with this one, the florals and the bergamot definitely come out and kind of take this one into a new category for me. And of course, if you have used this oil, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments down below. I'm always curious to how, I'm always curious to see how well these scents do for other people, especially in different areas. Now jumping into the next one is the bamboo teakwood. Uh, now this is one, I love teakwood. This is one that I really wanted to test out. And the bamboo is another one that I really wanted to test out. Not only because I do like the scent of bamboo, but bamboo typically comes off a little bit light in most oils that I've ever gotten. So I was definitely anxious to pour this one and see what it would smell like when it actually burns. Okay, so the notes on this one, the description is a refreshing blend of floral botanicals and woodsy bottom notes combined to make this unique, resort-worthy scent, fresh, exotic, and sweet. The top notes in this one are of course bamboo, sea salt, the middle notes are floral, orchid, and the base notes are musk and teakwood. And the alternate branding names on this one, uh, they have bamboo plus musk, fresh spring, teakwood plus sea salt. Uh, definitely some really good names. I know a lot of people struggle with names. They don't wanna use the same name as the oil to put on their candles. So definitely some things to think about there. Uh, this one is also skin safe according to the website. And it is again, phthalate free and the vanillin content is 0.00. .00. And again, this one is Prop 65 compliant, which is very good for people in California. And this one does smell really good. Um, I'm having a real hard time coming up with what stands out the most in this one. Uh, again, this one definitely comes off more of a very fresh or clean scent. I don't want to say a cleaning type scent, but if you had some type of a oil that you were using to make your house smell good, like it was freshly cleaned, this is definitely the one. And honestly, the alternate branding name of uh, Fresh Spring on this one matches it perfect. That's a great scent for this one. I don't know if I would really label this one as a teakwood. The teakwood doesn't stand out a lot to me in this one. It's definitely gonna be more towards the floral and the bamboos. And the other reason I chose these three oils, and this one says it perfectly, is this is a perfect spring and summer scent. So if anybody out there is getting ready to switch over to their spring and summer lines, this is a real good one to jump to. Now for this one, if I was gonna put it on the rating system, I would probably list this one a little bit higher. I would put this one kind of in the same realm as like a fresh linen or a clean cotton. It definitely doesn't smell like those, but it does, but it does smell along those lines in like the fresh scent or like a fresh cleaned house type of scent. And for me personally, those scents always do well in the store, in the farmer's markets, or anywhere that I've ever put those oils. So I would definitely put that one up there. Uh, I would say this one to me falls right in line with the sandalwood. I gave that one like a seven, eight. I would say this one is probably, probably right around the same, probably seven, eight, maybe eight, nine. Uh, just for me personally, like I said, the cleaning scents do a little bit better for me, which is why I'd probably put it just a little bit higher than the sandalwood. But again, a very nice oil if anybody out there is looking to add something to their, like I said, the fresh linen, the clean cotton, or anything like that, this is gonna fit in that very well. Now the next one is absolutely my favorite out of the three that I'm reviewing today, and that is the barrel aged maple bourbon. Now this one to me is, it's definitely not a spring and a summer type scent, but I included it in this line up just because it stood out the most to me out of every single one in that box. And it's also one of my biggest sellers of the same name that I usually sell through fall and winter. The one thing I do wanna point out, this one smells nothing like the apple maple bourbon that I get, and that was definitely one of the things I wanted to test out. The barrel aged maple bourbon in uh, from Midwest Fragrance Company is a completely different scent than the maple bourbon that I normally use, and is absolutely gonna be a new scent in my fall and winter lineup. Uh, the smell of this one is incredible. It's uh, it's nice and strong. It's, it's definitely Definitely gonna end up being one of my favorite fall and winter scents. I, I know that one already. But jumping over to the base notes and the description of this one, I'll go ahead and read it off. Uh, this one says, strong, bold notes of dark maple that are complemented with hints of aged bourbon, cedarwood, vanilla, and lemon. Uh, and that description nails it perfectly. The top notes in this one are maple and lemon. The middle notes are bourbon, vanilla, and the base notes are musk and cedar. And then of course, going into the alternate branding names, you've got Maple Bourbon, Cedar Maple Old Fashioned. This one is not skin safe. And usually when you go with like some of the stuff that includes possibly a cinnamon or something like that, or some of the spice type scents, a lot of those tend to not be skin safe. So you definitely wanna test that out. This one is also not phthalate free. And because it does contain vanilla, the vanillin content is a little bit higher. So the vanillin content is in this one is 17.80%. So what that's gonna mean is, 
when you make this candle, it could become a little discolored just because of the vanilla. It's absolutely normal. Almost every single candle that contains an oil that has some type of vanilla in it, you will get that discoloration. And this one is Prop 65 compliant to those in California or anywhere else that's uh, concerned with the Prop 65. Now see, for me with this one, and I mentioned it in one of the previous videos, the maple stands out more than anything in this one to me, and it's probably the strongest. I'd say if you're gonna list or rank and put in into kind of a kind of a percentage of how they smell. I would say the maple in this one is like 70, 75% of the smell. It smells amazing when you're walking through the house. And then of course you do pick up a little bit of the musk, the cedar and the vanilla, but they're a lot more muted than the maple, of course. The lemon on this one, I don't know if I picked up some of the lemon. It does have a little bit of a sweet scent to it. So that's probably the lemon coming out. But with this one, I actually made a couple candles with this one and we've been burning it for probably the last, what, ever since I poured these. So probably for the last week or two, every single day, uh, this one is definitely a house favorite and this one will absolutely be a hit once it hits the markets uh, and it will be a huge seller in the fall and winter months like I said. So with this one if I was going to put it on the scale I would easily put this one at 11 or 12 out of 12. If you were to take 12 of these to a market you're going to blow through these. Almost every single person coming up that is looking for a fall and winter or kind of a food type scent is absolutely going to go for this one. It's it's definitely an oil that you don't want to pass up and like I said I have no problem recommending this one at all. But having said that it is a fall and winter type scent. So with spring and summer coming up, you probably would sell a few of these, but I definitely wouldn't rush out and get it just now and make a ton of candles in this one. You might have one or two on hand just if you have an audience that likes those type of scents in the spring and summer months. But that's pretty much it with this one. Three really nice oils. And I've got a bunch more of these oils from Midwest Fragrance Company to test out. So definitely stick around for the next episode on the fragrance oil reviews I'm going to be going through. I might list them again on Instagram, the Facebook group that I mentioned earlier. And of course, post the question on YouTube to see what oils you you guys want to see next. But that's it. I've included a link to every single one of these oils in the video description down below. So definitely jump over, take a look. If you do end up getting one of these oils, please let me know what you think of them. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed down before as well. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, my website, and the phone number if you want to sign up for any of the text alerts when new oils come out, when wax is back in stock. I usually try to send out a text to let everybody know that X supplier has this wax back in stock. So definitely jump on it quick before it's gone. So if you want to sign up for for any of those text alerts, the phone number is 253-303-7968. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.